a recovering communications manager. Right? Um, my job was to produce words like these. Can I just say, I'm sorry. Right? That's like your Kevin Rudd style apology for the evening. Right? Done once. Over. Let's forget about it. Let's move on. Needless to say, I think the people that are on the receiving end of these words probably enjoyed reading them slightly less than I enjoyed writing them. And it was in a state of mental turmoil that I found myself in Melbourne one December. And I had been invited to a poetry evening by that guy there, whose name is Adam Ford. And to my great surprise, I actually enjoyed it. Some of the performers were really good. Some sucked, some of them were really good. I think it's fair to say that poetry has an image problem, right? There is a higher number than, there is a higher than average level of berry wearers on the poetry scene. There's also quite a large number of lesbians. And as for lesbian berry wearers, it's just out of the fucking window. Now, you probably can't read that, but that's concentrate, right? And that's really the other misconception, which is that poetry is about rhyme. Instead, it's about taking words and ideas and emotions and compressing them as tightly as you can. And that's what a poetry slam is all about. That is not actually a poetry slam, but it's close. Right? And in a poetry slam, you don't have five minutes. Five minutes is a prog rock album, right? Five minutes is six seasons of Lost. You have two minutes. Right? What a poetry slam does have in common with that previous slide was it's all about contact. It's about trying to touch people and make them feel something in two minutes. Which is exactly the opposite of what I was doing in my job. And I did it, and I enjoyed it, but I got bored. So I thought, maybe the internet can save me. Maybe the internet can be my own personal poetry Jesus. Right? And uh, I thought, well, how am I going to do this? I'm going to make people an offer they can't refuse. Well, not a few people could refuse anyway. So I'll write you a poem, and there's a bit of a choice. If you do the research with me to actually work out what it means to you, and then if you give me something of equal perceived value in return, who's heard of Johnny Moore? Anyone? Give me a shout! I can't see your hands! Thank you. Um, he's, a, he's a UK blogger. He hates action lists. And you'll be here, and people I'm sure they love action lists, you can't stand them. So I thought, what was the first action list? Because you wanted me to write a poem on it. Well, it's the Ten Commandments, isn't it? That's going to be the first action list. So I started off work and sat down with the King James Bible. Have you read that? Okay, it rocks! Go out and read it! Um, and Johnny gave me 25 bucks, which went on Kiva. Who's heard of Kiva? Give me a shout out! Hey. Fucking thank you! Right? And that's when you buy a went to Moxay in Cambodia to help use the construction business. Keep us a micro finance site. Go to it. The next lady that, that took me up on my offer, crazy lady in Dublin called Annette. Annette is doing a PhD on disappointment. Right? And I thought, fuck, this is going to be depressing. So I asked her to go to Flickr and type in some words that she associated with her topic. And these are the pictures she chose, which aren't depressing at all. Well, it's, it's, what is that, a Corvette or something? A really old car. Lots of beautiful countryside. It was fantastic to write that for her. Okay, not depressing. Disappointment, not depressing. Uh, finally, remember the key thing from one of the earlier slides? Right, I thought I'll do an auction. Okay, I will, I will write your poem and perform it on YouTube, but you actually have to stump up some more cash. A woman who I have never met, whose name I do, do not know, but whose photograph that was, gave me 300 bucks for a poem on the subject of hope. A very Obama-esque. Um, and her money went to these people, right, on Kiva, the whole microfinance thing. So it's helping people with their businesses all over the world. Lots of little, little moments of good. So am I asking you to become a poet? No. Sigh of relief there, okay? For a start, I don't want a competition. Let's be blunt about this. So what am I asking you? What, 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 what offer am I making to you? Well, I suppose it's three things. First thing is, lots of our messaging seems very identical. It seems to be aimed at an identical use. There is virtually no co-creation there. There is no conversation. Um, there is a surprising dearth of originality for smart people. And the language we use is mummified. All the life has been sucked out of it to leave some kind of horrible, undead corporate corpse. <laughs> so the offer I'm going to make to these super ponies and gentlemen, should you choose to accept it, is to go off and do something cool and different in the next seven days. It can be music, it can be art, it can be whatever, I don't care. 
Thanks very much.